Hello there guys, and welcome back to Project Castaway. So, I've been pretty busy off screen, and we have had an update now. We've had, actually had two updates since the last video. So, I'm all up to date with everything that's changed, and they have changed a few things. And I have changed a few things. But I have been very busy. As you can see, I have extended our little cabin, which was a little cabin. I've also done a bit of mining. I've got the furnace going. I've got table with our fruit and veg on. Basically, some flags, bed. The only thing I will say is I was trying to build something a bit more elaborate. But currently the game sort of only allows to do basically square boxes. Um, I was trying to use, as you can see, I was trying to use these ferns. Um, but if you start with wood, so you can't have, like, for example, wood fern, wood fern, wood fern. It's either one or the other. Uh, I managed to get this in here. It was tricky enough as it was. But, yeah, I wanted to make something a bit more elaborate. But, yeah, this is what I've done off screen. It took me a long time. And I've also got some shelves with all of our stuff on it. Sorted everything out. Tidied up the beach a little bit. We've got a weapons rack, we've got a meat rack with all of our bird meat, which will hopefully last a bit longer. Why can I hear humming? Did you hear that, Wilson? Oh well. Yeah, and we've got a little compost heap with some nasty stuff. And yeah, I've pretty much sort of tidied this area up because it doesn't need to be messy. And I'm crazy. As you can see, I've pretty much deforested this entire area. <laughs> and a little bit over there as well. It took rather a long time. But this is our our new home. If we're going to be stranded here for a while, we may have a little bit of luxury, right? Yeah. Um, oh, I also forgot. I also built uh, back upstairs again. We've got a few torches as well for night time. I also built this thing to keep the wine bottles in or the notes that we find so it looks like there's still a few more to find. But I've pretty much rinsed most of the resources on this island now. Um, I also got myself another one of these as well. And I got a few farming pits. And this has got the ginger plant in it as well, yeah. So we're sort of beginning to survive a little bit. But with the update comes a few things and one of the things they've added a bit more stuff of the story uh which is one thing i want to try and do i want to find out a little bit more about this place if we can and obviously survive as best we can uh, one of the things they've added is some tapes for us for our character looking for our uncle so that's one thing we're going to do today is see if we can find some of these tapes. Just need to sort out my inventory before we leave. Uh, what's that? A beak? Oh, no, that's bird meat. I'm going to keep that. That one goes up there. Bandage. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, yes, and I also built the leather pouch so we can take water with us. There we go. Fresh water with us. Right, but as far as I know, one of the things is up there. So, we need to head back over there to begin with. And then I think we're going to start heading off to the other islands. Um, we may go to that one as it's sort of closest distance. Yeah, there's another one way off in the distance over there. Yeah, I want to find out what's happening, and I want to see if I can get some more of these blueprints and see if we can get off of this island. That would be the best thing to do. I hate climbing up here. What are you? You're a stink bug. Okay. Is there one? Is it up here somewhere? Where is it? Hmm, I know there is a little bit of a bug with the tapes not loading in. Unless it's on the very top. 
I thought there was one here, actually. Interesting. Because I have seen a few people say that there are still a few bugs. I mean, it's to be expected. It's still early access. But in terms of performance, I have to say it's... Ooh, I almost fell off there. Runs pretty smoothly. I can't... Ooh. Oh yeah, this is something they've added as well. Little hint markers. Which is quite nice, because some of those things can be quite difficult to find. You've got to have a keen eye for them. So where... That's up here, then. Please don't fall off. Is that something? Oh. I hope I don't have the problem with the tapes loading in. Because as far as I'm aware... Don't fall off. Oh no, there we go. Cassette tape. James, if you're hearing this, things have taken a turn I didn't anticipate. This is your uncle, Seamus. I don't have much time, so I'll keep this brief. I didn't want to drag you or your mother into this mess. But life doesn't always give us a choice. The deaths. They were crushing me. I couldn't bear the thought of leaving that burden on you both. So when Mord and Paul Inc. came knocking with their offer, I took it. I knew it was risky, but I didn't know just how deep the darkness ran, the mission they sent us on. It wasn't just about research. This island, James. It's unlike anything I've ever encountered. The ruins here hold secrets that shouldn't be uncovered. Mordenpol knew that, and they sent us anyway. They sent us to... to awaken something. We were a team when we started. Trained, equipped. But this place, it's not just the elements that are hostile. It's as if the island itself is alive, testing us, preying on our fears, our regrets. One by one, I've watched my team fall. Good people, lost to something I can't even fully understand. I'm alone now, trying to keep the darkness at bay, but it's getting harder. Every step I take feels like it's pulling me deeper into the island's grasp. I've found things, James things that should have stayed buried. I'm not sure what Mordenpol is after anymore, but I know it's nothing good. If you're here, if you followed the breadcrumbs I left, I need you to know something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't stronger, that I couldn't protect the people who depended on me. And I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you and your mother when you needed me the most. I don't know how this will end, but I have to believe there's still hope that there's still a way to make things right. Just be careful, James. Trust your instincts, and don't let this place take you too. Okay. So there's something dark and shady going on over here. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder what Morden Pole was up to. What did they find? Ooh, intriguing. Very intriguing. Right. Easy does it. So. Yeah, they were the tapes. Thought I fell then to my death. They were the tapes. And I don't know if they're all on this island or if they're spread about. I have no... Oh, Jesus Christ. I have no idea. And I don't even know how many there are. Um... Can I just... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's because of the update, it sort of added all of the progress tips again at the top. Is there any other tapes around here? So they found something dark and sinister. But what that is, we don't know. It makes my life a bit more sketchy because we don't know what it is. Or what they found, so... Uh... What lies on these islands? That is the question. That is the question. Ah, oh, here we go. There's another one. Ah, so they come in order. Okay. James, it's Seamus. I hope you're hanging in there. I've discovered something. This island, it's not just home to ancient ruins. There are relics here, yes, but also pirate treasure. 
the kind of stuff you only read about. Morden Pole sent me here because they knew the legends were true. And I'll admit, that's what pulled me in too. These treasures, they could change everything. They're valuable, but they're also dangerous. There's power in them, something that shouldn't be tampered with. But I can't help thinking, if I could bring just a few of these back, maybe we could finally dig ourselves out of this hole. No more debts, no more struggling. I'm running out of time, James, but I had to leave you this. Happy birthday, kid. I'm sorry I'm not there. I've always been proud of you, and I need you to be smart. If you're hearing this, it means you're already in deep. Be careful, and don't let this place take you down like it's trying to do to me. Pirate treasure? Ooh, this just got a whole lot more exciting. But I wonder if he's referring to some of the things I found already, which would be one of these things, look. An ancient lantern, because you can't actually do anything with it. It just sort of is. And there's quite a few to find. Yeah, we found the bronze shield, ancient lantern, the snake bracelet. There's quite a few to find, and I wonder if we get all of them. Do we get something? Interesting. Right. Let's prepare for um, heading out. Let me get another bronze stick going, just because my axe has only got 28%. Actually, we should have some breakfast. Oh dear, I got parasites. Oh no. Uh oh. Was that rotten? Oh, it's raw. I didn't cook it, you. Mm. That's not good. Uh oh. You need to drink something quickly. Oh, I don't want worms in my belly. No, no. Please go away, worms. I hope that will do. Do we have any sticks in here? No, and I don't think I've got any little sticks left, do I? No, I don't. Yeah, see, I've, I've pretty much rinsed most of this stuff. We can get some little sticks quickly, though, and then we'll head off. I think I'm going to go to that island over there. Come on. Let's just chop these up. And we're going to go and see what else we can find. So we're following our uncle, who's left us some breadcrumbs. And this is where we are. Basically. Come on. Come on. Honestly, didn't mean they've changed the texture of that. That looks like cooked. Very, very similar to cooked. Please go away, worms. We have some berries. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Right. Okay. Uh, now I just need... What do I need for my bronze axe? I need rope. There we go. Get that together. Right. Let's put this one here. No. Take that one. And add... No, no, why? I don't want that. Give me that one. Drop that there. Take that one. And put that there. There we go. Right. We need the bow. And I'm hoping that is... Yes, good. We should have some arrows. How many arrows do we have, actually? Okay, we've got quite a few. we got water, we got food, we got a bandage. I will take one of those, and I'll take a coconut as well. Right. Go. Let's head off. Let's head off. Oop. Oh dear. 
beached. Come on. Come on. Okay. Alright, hold. Let's see if she will. There we go. Back out on the open seas again. Yeah, let's go to this island as it's quite close. Obviously, I've got to watch out for kitty cats and lizards. But at least now that I've got... the bow and the bronze axe. I'm feeling a bit stronger and a bit more able. Is that another island over there? Way, way off in the distance. Just in between the flags there. Just there, look. Tiny, weeny, weeny one. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm intrigued now to discover what Morden Pole found. Is it going to be one of those things where you put all the treasures together and combined it and something happens? A power we're not supposed to know about or use? Ancient power? That would be good. Scary, but good. And obviously, clearly there, we were in a little bit of financial difficulty and that's why Famous was out doing what he was doing, trying to, you know fill in the hole. Hard times. Unfortunately, it happens to pretty much everyone at some point in their life. Especially currently, right now, with the way things are. Not easy. You just got to do what you got to do to survive, I guess. And if that means... Sailing across from island to island in shark infested waters. What you gotta do? You gotta pluck up the courage and take that dive. This is a big mountain. Low on protein. What? Just eating meat. Cooked meat. Low on veg too. Ooh. Hopefully we're going to find some food over there. Is that going to fill me up? Oh yeah, we do need a bit more veg. That's not good. That's not good. Alright, let's just head over to this little bit here. Okay, so we're definitely going to need to find some veg on this island. Let's just see if we can get into this corner. Yeah, this is a big rock. Oh, another tire there. Always handy. Right, we're here. Let's just lower those down. Get wet a little bit. Whoops. Push this on. Just so the tide doesn't take it away. Okay. A new island to explore. Now, oh. is a a defunct volcano? What is this? A few barrels, more cloth. What's that? Oh, another surfboard. Okay. Slow and steady. We do need to keep an eye out for some fruit and veg, though. So if we find a banana tree, that will be handy. Uh, what have we got? We'll take the little sticks. Also want to keep an eye out for kitty cats. That looks like yucca. Yeah, that's yucca. Okay, so we can make rope if we need to. Mushrooms. White mushroom. Small white mushroom. Okay, I'm not a mushroom connoisseur at all, so I don't know if that is edible or not. Ooh. 
Hello. We got a note. What's this? Something here. Hang on. Ah, bottled note. Okay, we got another one of those. Good. We'll read that a bit later on. Wow, there's a lot of barrels here. So much junk that has just washed up on shore. Ridiculous. I've heard that before. We are absolutely disgusting sometimes. That's pretty cool. Tea bag. Ooh. A little taste of home? mattress. That might be handy. It's going to be a bit soggy. It might be a bit handy. Right, I think the first thing to do is see if we can get a fire going at least. Just so I've got, you know, just in case we end up staying here a bit longer than necessary. Ooh. First priority should always be getting a fire going. And really, in a place like this, once the fire is lit, you should not let it out. Uh, where are we? Fire. Six stones. Three. That's four. No more stones. There's another one. Also, I'm scanning for uh, kitty cats and things. We need one more stone. Come on. Give us a stone. Old fan. My biggest fan. Crabs. So we got food. A lamp. Come on. I need a stone. Oh, I see him off in the background there. Look. Big old lizard. I thought that was one then. Almost gave myself a heart attack. Wow. Tons of sheet metal. Come on, I need one more stone. Game, please be a crab, not a spider. Thank you. It's getting dark. We should also get a bed together, I think. Are there no stones here? God damn it. I need one stone. Ah, is that a stone? Yes, there we go. Okay. Right, at least we can get the fire going. Yeah, and the sun... Wow, that is getting dark. Rather quickly, actually. But let's get this going. And then I'm going to have to get... some kind of... bed down. Uh, where is my... fireplace? Hang on a minute, is this not the island that we were on originally? Bollocks. I didn't mean to do that. Now I need to find another stone. Is this not the island we were on before? Scorpions. Charming. Ooh. What is that? That's a nose of a plane. Oh, berries. Coffee plant. Okay, coffee, not berries. We may as well take it. Oh, stay away. Leave me alone. Damn, I need another stone now. Because I was... Made a boo-boo. Uh, um... Stone? Please? Ooh, that was close. I didn't see him there. Another mushroom. Wow, it's dark. God damn it. Should have brought some with me, shouldn't I? Ah, there we go. 
Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Where did that bloody dragon go? That's what I want to know. Where did you go? Okay. We can't really get that going yet. Because the rain will just put it out. So I need to get something to make a shelter over it. Come on. There we go. Get these two down quickly. I don't like being out here in the dark. And again. Right. Hang on. I was going to say, there should be some more of them. Right, now we can get the fire going because the rain stopped. Oh, uh, no. Not having you running around my camp. Oh, hell no. I'm not having you running around my camp. Get out of it. Oof. Right. Let's get this going. Okay. Now we need some kind of a shelter. Maybe just a lean-to for now. Just to keep it covered from the rain. Large sticks and fronds. There we go. That can be done. And then I think we better get some shut-eye. Look at that. Doesn't that look pic picturesque? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The moon and the birds. Look at that shot with the birds going across there like that. I have to say, they've done an amazing job with the design. You can't fault that, really. Let's just face this way, just so I can see if... Mr. Uh, Mr. Teeth is going to show up. Come on. Come on. Okay, and I need some more fronds now, just for a quick bed as well. Next to the fire. There we go. Going to get wet feet if it rains, but... It is what it is, I guess. Oh, I hear scurrying. Oh, I don't like that. What was that? Oh, lemongrass. Come on. Get this down quickly. Please. There we go. Two. That's all I got from that? Oh, man. That's not fair, is it? Let's get this one, then. Come on. No, I'm glad I've got the bronze axe. The durability is a bit better. Oh, you would fall that way, wouldn't you? Uh, where, where, where did they go? Ah, oh, there they are. Again, not a lot. I don't even think this is enough, is it? I need two more. We've got one. Can we get another one anywhere? Oh, that's dark. 
Did I really only get three from this one? Ah, perfect. Right, that's better. We can get some shut eye. Look at that. Uh, beautiful. We can get some shut eye. There we go. Let's get a good eight hours. So we're ready and refreshed for the morning's hike. Okay, a little bit of breakfast will be some coffee beans, coconut, there we go, and yeah, I'm going to have to drink the water. I can't be getting dehydrated. Okay, onward. Yeah, what is this? This is a plank. Oh, shit. Stay there. This is actually a plane. Have we found the Lost Island? Is this the Lost Island? Oh, two blueprints. Double-sided axe. Ooh, bone meal snack. Oh, there's something else on this tree here. Wow. Oh, look, there's the rest of it. The engine snapped in half. Logan Harper's note. Okay. I can hear things. And I don't like it. Nothing of use here. Is that something running towards me? Oh, raining again. Ooh! What is it? Where is it? I can't see it. Is that a banana plant? Yes, it is. I need to get this. I need the bananas. Come on. Give me the bananas. This is crazy. This plane. I'm really worried about big cats and big lizards. Oh dear. I would hate to be in something like that. Well, the weather's not on our side today. Just scanning for threats. Really? If I see any movement, any movement. Good bird. We get up here. This is a big island. Much bigger than the one we're on. Oh, there's going to be a load of stuff here, isn't there? Right. Yeah, look. There's the engine. One of the engines, anyway. Got to feel sorry for people that that happens to, and their families, and friends. You know, especially if you're one of the ones, oh, I see you, who are unfortunate to be in the, not knowing, I think that's the worst part, is not getting the closure and knowing what happened. Right, let's continue on as a perimeter check, see what else we got here. Oh, hello. Yeah, look, see, if you didn't have that, you would just run right past it, because unless you're sort of on top of it, 
Another one of his notes. Okay. I'm not going to read that now. Not in the pouring rain. More bug spray. All the rocks I needed now. Loads of barrels here. Loads. Maybe those barrels are connected to Morden Pole. Maybe this is some stuff that they left it. Jesus Christ. It's scared by a bloody turtle. Maybe this is some stuff that they left behind. That tree looks ominous. Sitting up there like that. Another fan. Oh, I've got two fans. Uh -huh. Oh, a laptop. Yeah, I reckon all of this junk is left over from those... The, uh... Morden Pole. I reckon most of this stuff is from them. Or oh, bug repellent. Some yucca. Well... Shouldn't really be doing this. Especially after it's just rained and the rocks are super slippery. But that tree looks suspicious to me. And I want to see what is there. Oh, hello. What's this? A one slice flag. Anything down there? Oh, yep. Hang on. What's the best way to go about this? This way, I guess. Oh. What is it going to be? Another bottled note. A note from a survivor. Okay. Let's, we can clamber back up here. Come on. Oh. Uh, what's the best way? That way looks like the non-steepest way. Get onto that ledge. Doing a bit of bear grills here. Come on. Up you get. There we go. Look, see? How clever am I? Oh dear. Leather chair, spray, a trident. Okay, this guy's been here for quite a while. Poor soul. Oh, what's that? Hang on, something's flashing up. Stone. Well, seeing as we're at the top, may as well have a moochie around. I am keeping my eyes peeled for animals. Because as I said before, it's bloody hard to see in this fauna. There's our little island over there. And there's a little raft, look. So there's a one, two, three, four, five with this one that we're on. Ooh, no, that's a bit too steep. Just doing a perimeter. There's another banana tree there. Perimeter check before I head inland. Just do not want be attacked it was another round tree by a kitty cat at all really because they literally blend in I could be stalked right now and not know about it what's that what's this the Torah tree no idea what that is Another ominous looking tree. Oh wow. Plain, pl 
plane propeller and a shark axe. We're finding all the goodies today. Okay, we're back down by the plane again. Oh, hello. Something else over there. Stupid birds. Another one of his notes. Right, I'm pushing my luck here. Let's get back onto the beach where I feel a bit safer. I have to say, I don't feel safe in the forest at all. More coffee plant. No other notes on here? No. Okay. Uh, let's head back to my raft. You stay over there, you. Jesus Christ. Even the birds are attacking me now. No, no, no. You stay there. You don't come near me. You leave me alone. Okay. Let's just have a brief look at what we got there. Because we've got quite a lot of stuff. We've got a propeller. We've got a leather chair. Bone meal snack. The natural fertilizer made from bone and manure. Ooh. Sack, not snack. Quite a few seasoning things. Double-sided axe, seagull hatchet, trident. That looks awesome. We need one rope for that. Silver ingot. Oh, yeah. That's a point. I did see this over here. Is this silver or is this granite? Silver. Okay. This is where we get silver from. And, of course, I didn't bring my pickaxe. Um... Might be able to make one, but I do need rope. What do I need? Metal sheet and eight sticks. Okay. Small sticks. Sorry. And one metal sheet. Oh, I saw hundreds of those. There's one right here. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, good God. Okay. That's not good. Now, where did I see that yucca? Is it round here by where the um, raft is? I know I saw it somewhere. Sorry. I need your food. Inventory. Oh, there's another note there. Actually, no, I need those. Uh, let's use one of these. What can I get rid of here? Hang on. Let's get rid of the mushrooms, because I don't know if they're edible or not. And I don't want to risk it. Oh, see, I missed this. Oh, another note. Wow. <coughs> I've got quite a few of those. And another one. God damn. Right, here's the yucca. Oh, inventory full. Uh, let's go and dump some of this on the raft. That would be a better idea, wouldn't it? And another one. God damn. We're going to have a lot of reading to do. Right. Let's put the tea bags in there. Let's put the wine bottles in there. And the bug repellent. Which just fell through the floor. Now we should be able to pick up the yucca. There we go. 
Where are those two dragons? I know they're here somewhere. As long as they stay over there. Switch to this, there he is. There's one of them. Where's the other one? Right, we should now be able to get or not pickaxe. That's what I wanted. Are you coming this way? You are coming this way. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with you. Oh, I missed. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Another arrow. I'm also going to skin him, cook him, and eat him. Ah! Jesus. Where did you come from? Holy mother of God, that scared the absolute crap out of me. That's not good. I don't know what I've got. Hang on. What's wrong with me now? Okay, one of them's gone. Poison. It's probably to be a bit poisoned by animal bites or insects that if not treated soon it can lead to death. For relief, try eating ginger. Oh no. I don't have any ginger on me. Um crap. We're gonna have to do a quick run round and see if there's a ginger plant anywhere. Oh, that's not good. Time is ticking. Time is ticking, and it's getting dark. But at least I can have... No, that's raw. He almost made that mistake again. That's crab. I need some coconut. I should be some coconut over here. Jesus, my heart is going ten to a dozen from that bloody thing there. Wow. That made me jump out of my skin. Uh, where's my coconut? Coconut. There we go. Uh... <clears throat> we need to find ginger quickly. That's coffee. <laughs> All I wanted to do was get a bit of silver. Come on. There was a load of plants over by the big rock formation where we scaled up. If I'm lucky, there'll be some ginger there. But I think I need a... What's this? Ginger, yes! I need a spoon. Mm. Not a spoon. A shovel. Excellent. Right. Drop that on the floor. Pick that up. Come on. Okay. Let's take a few of these. Eat that. Did I eat it? Yes. Okay, it's gone. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Okay, I think it's time we quickly grab this silver and we head home. Although it's night time again. Wow. That bloody lizard. Jesus Christ. That really did scare the hell out of me. Well, at least I've taken care of them, so they're not patrolling the beach anymore. 
So that's one good thing. And my fire's gone out. You shouldn't be getting wet. There we go. Put a few sticks in. Ooh, what's that? Why is it green? Oh, is that the effects of the poison? Ooh, that's a weird thing. That's really weird. Ooh, I don't like that. That's scary. Right, where was that silver? All I want to do is grab a few of these. Come on. Oh, this is going to take a while. What's happening here? Why are you resetting? There we go. I'll be in the right position. Please don't say my backpack is full. Can't grab it. What the? Is this bugged out? Come on. There we go. Inventory full. God damn it. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, we can get rid of the crab because I've got the thing. Let's eat a banana. Get rid of that. Right. Let's take some silver back with us. As much as we can, really. <clears throat> oh, that didn't last very long. Okay, that's all we got. We got a few shards. Okay. Let's head back. <laughs> it's not too far. Thankfully. It's just over there. Oh, I thought you were another. You scared me again. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I've completely screwed my raft. Hang on. There we go. Tires were digging into the sand. Come on, I've got to push it hard enough. And the problem is, the bigger it gets, the heavier it gets. Let's spin it round. Get me on. Please. There we go. Okay. Under the moonlight sky, we head back home. Oh, did I lose all my stuff in there? Yes. Hang on. Wait. That's not, that's not what I want. Hang on. I want to go and get those bottles. Yeah. Transporting stuff in the raft can be a bit dodgy. It's better to keep it on your person if you can, if you have the room in the backpack. Because things just fall out and fall through. A little bit annoying, I know, but it is what it is. But I would like to get those bottles back, at least those bottles anyway. If I can find them again. That might be the tricky thing. Should be... There they are. No, it's not. Have they fallen through completely? By the looks of it, yes, we have lost them completely. Unless we were over here? No, we weren't over here, were we? Ah, there they are. No, that's the bug repellent. Oh man, have I lost them? Yeah, I think they've gone. That's a bit annoying. Do I actually have them? Hang on. Do I actually have them? Bottled notes. I hope to drink. Yeah, we've done that one. 
Oh no, we haven't done that one. Okay, so I do have them. Okay, that's fine. So I don't actually need them then. Okay. Good to know. It's a bit of a shame. I would have liked to have collected them and put them on my thing. Get me on, please. Game. Okay. Thank you. But it is what it is. <clears throat> At least we've actually got the notes itself. Right. Now it's time to go home. At midnight almost. A bit dodgy. But at least the, car the sea is calm. And we can be guided by starlight and moonlight. And it's not that big of a distance either. Luckily. Let's add the leather. Drink water. Welcome home. Let's put this on. Uh, why not? There we go. And I think... I have a banana. And then we'll hit the sack. Two AM. Ooh. Only gonna be a short sleep this morning. This up wrong button. Gonna be a six hour sleep. Still. Six to eight hours. We wanna use as most most much of the light as we can. Here we go. Quarter to nine. Right. Just sort everything out. Need to build a few more storage shelves. Keep that topped up. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of ginger, which is good. Oops. My fruit and veg go up here on my fruit and veg table. Quite a bit of ginger. And some coffee beans. Yeah, let's see, there's ginger already. That's uncooked steak, leather, that's cooked steak, and this thing, whatever that is. I don't know. Right. I would say let's sit on the balcony and read this. But it's a bit wet, so let's sit in the door frame. Although I do need the light. Claire's letter. One of three. Here we go. To whoever finds this, my name is Claire. If you find this message, please know that I am in desperate need and heartbroken. I put this message in a bottle hoping it might reach someone, somewhere. Logan, if by some miracle you find this, I need you to know how much I love and miss you. Not a day goes by that I don't think about you, wondering why you ran away like that. Was it something I did? Something I said? The guilt eats away at me, and I don't understand why you left us. Tommy blames himself. He thinks he pushed you away. He hasn't said it out, outright, but I can see it in his eyes. The way he looks out at the sea, hoping you'll come back. The hurt and the confusion in his heart and more than a child are more than a child should bear. Jake too young fully understand Jake too young to fully understand just clings to me and asks me when you'll return. I have no answers for them. The only reason I haven't ended it all is because of the boys. They need me now more than ever. They're already lost so much. I can't bear the thought of them being alone. They are my, can't see, reason for holding on. My reason for fighting throughout each day. But it's so hard, Logan, so hard without you. I miss your strength, your presence, the way you made us feel safe. I miss the sound of your voice, the way you used to look at me with that fierce determination. I miss the dreams we shared, the hopes we clung to. But most of all, I miss you. If you're out there, please come back. We need you. I need you. The boys need their father. 
and I need the man I love. If anyone else finds this, please help us. We're stranded and losing hope. That's sad. That's really sad. A mother with two boys alone on that island. Or oh, actually, it might not even be that island. Who knows? If it's washed up on shore, it could be from anywhere. But that's really sad. So, Logan, I wonder if... Yeah, Logan Harper, that must be her, that must be the father. Yeah. But we'll do that next time. <clears throat> we'll do that next time. Right then, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. If you're enjoying the Project Castaway series, then don't forget to subscribe. Ring that little notification bell so you get notified when my videos go live. And as always, I'll catch you all on the next one.